Uy, ya no, ya fui, ya fui, ya fui. ¡Dani! Alright guys, so I'm back with another Alpha Bridge build. I know, it sucks. Uh, everybody's so sick and tired of hearing about Alpha Bridge builds. That's why I call this build the Barf build. Because every time I see a video about Alpha Bridge, it just makes you want to barf. But you can't deny it. The Alpha Bridge is the strongest gear set in the game. I'm not saying that there, are not, there aren't any other options for you out there. But if you want to have the best damage output, the Alpha Bridge with the Assault Rifles is the way to go. So, let's get into the build. I'm using a 4-piece Alpha Bridge with 2-piece high ends and I'm using Assault Rifles as my weapons, specifically the Elvoa and the FAMAS. For my stats, I have 351 DPS, 516 toughness and 114 skill power. Let's check out my gear first, starting with the vest. I'm running with the Barrett's Bulletproof Vest. It has 3157 armor and stamina roll. For the major attributes, I have health of 6445, 1256 armor, and 26% increased kill XP as minor attribute. Preferably, you would want ammo capacity on the minor attribute and switch out health to exotic damage resilience because exotic damage resilience is much more useful. The increased health can be taken out by just one bullet. Meanwhile, the exotic damage resilience will be constant. The effect of the EDR is constant. Basically, you get damage mitigation from all damage types except bullets. So that means uh, less damage from grenades, less damage from skills such as Seeker Mines and BFB and Fire Turrets. Also, less damage from environment damage such as the exploding gas cans from the cleaners the exploding gas cans around the area and seeing that uh, grenades are very prevalent now in the dark zone pvp having that exotic damage resilience would be really helpful in making your character much more tougher inside the dark zone now let's talk about the barrett's bulletproof fest a little bit and why i think it's the best high-end piece that you can acquire in the game on the, on the description, it says no skills on cooldown increase its skill power by 10%. One skill on cooldown increase damage by 5%. Two skills on cooldown increases armor by 10%. So on the description alone, you can see that we get bonuses to skill power, to our DPS, and to our toughness in different situations. Next up, let's check out the second high-end piece, which is the specialized backpack. It has 2150 armor and it has stamina roll. For the major attributes, it has 954 armor. For the minor attribute, it has 53% ammo capacity. Now, most YouTubers that I see use Savage instead of Specialized, but for me personally, I think Specialized has more value in a slot as compared to the Savage. Savage Gloves gives out a flat 7%. Uh, crit chance increase to targets out of cover and that's about it it doesn't uh, do anything else aside from that increased crit chance meanwhile the specialized you get insane amounts of extra skill power based on your firearms and stamina points so having higher skill power means better skills and faster cooldowns now having stronger skills I think it's much more better than just having that 7% crit chance increase. Plus, we're using assault rifles and assault rifles do not require that much crit chance as compared to SMGs. So I think we could easily switch Savage out to Specialized. But in the end, it's all up to you. It's based on your own preferences. 
but take my word for it, you would get more value out of a specialized backpack than a Savage Gloves. Next up, let's take a look at the Alphabridge pieces, starting with the mask. It has 971 armor with stamina roll and the major attribute is 3.5 crit to chance and the minor attribute is enemy armor damage. Now, as I've said earlier, when using assault rifles, crit chance is not that important. So you could easily switch this crit chance out to skill power if that's your preference. It would give you higher heals and stronger skills. Next up is the knee pads, Alpha Bridge knee pads with 2805 total armor with stamina roll again. Major attribute is 1230 armor. The minor attribute, I have 10.50 enemy armor damage. That's the only important minor attribute that we need. Next, we have the holster. It has 1661 armor, 1200 points in firearms and stamina, and 673 armor as a major attribute. The only thing that you need to look for in holsters is that it must have 1200 points in firearms and stamina. And if you have 1200 points on each of these three stats, then that would be perfect. Last, we have the Alpha Bridge Gloves, 966 armor with 1200 firearms roll. It has assault rifle damage of 1300, 15% crit hit damage, and 5.50 crit hit chance. For the mods, on the chest piece, I use two piece firearms mod with armor. On the mask, I use stamina mods with armor. Same with the knee pad, stamina mods with armor. Backpack, stamina mods with armor. For the performance mods, I use uh, first aid self heal if I'm running solo. That's on all slots. If I'm into the group, I switch all these mods out to either crit chance or crit damage to buff the damage of the whole group. Alright, so let's take a look at the weapons now. As I've said earlier, I'm running Assault Rifles, specifically the Elvoa and the FAMAS. My Elvoa has 17.6k base damage at 4,300 firearms. The FAMAS has 14.2k base damage at 4,300 firearms. For the talents, I run Vicious, Deadly, Brutal, Unforgiving, Destructive, and Uncomplicated. Now, having Brutal on the last, last slot is really important as it allows you to have lower firearms therefore pumping more stats into stamina giving you higher toughness as for the mods for the scope i'm using 7% crit hit chance 5.5 headshot damage and 4% crit hit damage on the muzzle 18% headshot damage 3% crit hit chance and 4% crit hit damage on the under barrel it's 19% crit hit damage 4.50 optimal range and 4% reload speed for the magazine, it's 115% mag size, 3% crit hit chance, and 5.70 rate of fire extended mag. For this scope, you could switch this out to headshot damage, but because I'm running deadly as one of my talents, I need the extra crit hit chance, so I can maximize that uh, deadly talent. Alright, for the sheet stats, I have 20,000 weapon damage on my Olivoa, 32% crit hit chance, and 82% critical hit damage and 111% headshot damage. For enemy armor damage, I'm running with 52%. For the toughness bar, I have 233,000 max health and weapon damage mitigation of 54.7% with 13,000 armor points. For the talents, I run crit save for extra damage resistance, on the move for damage reduction, precision, so that my pulse will be active all the time when I headshot a hostile and strike back which gives me 20% reduced uh, skill cooldowns when I'm on my last bar of health. If I'm in a group, I use battle buddy and combat medic in place of precision and strike back. For the skills, as always, I use pulse scrambler and first aid with booster shot. For the special skill, I use Recover Link when I'm solo and Taclic if in a group. Alright, so that's my build. If you think this build is awesome, please hit the like button. 
If you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe as it helps me a lot and it helps the channel grow. And if you think this build could help other players, please feel free to share this build. And if you have any questions, comments, or criticisms about this build or my channel, please put them on the comment section down below. I appreciate uh, all the comments that you put down there. And I really, really appreciate all the support. Again, happy holidays and see you on my next video. Go, go, go. Philippine Jin, can I call it?